To be a pleaser uh, means you are someone whose singular focus and obsession is to not upset people or disappoint people in any way. Is that possible? See, you want to not be a pleaser and yet please people. That's exactly how a pleaser thinks. This thinking, you must understand, is sourced in a contradiction within you. On the one side, you feel hurt because you tried hard to please someone and that person disappointed you or did not respond in the way you wanted him or her to respond. And on the other hand, you do not want to lose love by not pleasing others. You are craving for love. So you want to play a safe game this time. So what you must see first is that you are caught between hurt and fear. You can understand this. Let us first understand who a pleaser is. To be a pleaser uh, means you are someone whose singular focus and obsession is to not upset people or disappoint people in any way. Is that possible? <laughs> but unfortunately, this is the obsession. And this is an obsession you have cultivated in yourself because you believe that by being you know, people's pleaser, you can win people's love and their acceptance. Am I right or not? Why else are you a people's pleaser? When you begin to see the actual reason, the truth why you are wanting to be a pleaser with each and every person, your friends, your parents, your teachers, then you will see the stupidity and the futility of holding on to it. Because the truth is, it has nothing to do with the happiness of the other, right? It is all about you being accepted and loved by the other. It's nothing to do with the other's happiness. You are desperately trying to win their approval and their acceptance through pleasing, otherwise you will go mad and probably make others also mad. So many times or most times, ironically the result is quite the opposite. The very people that you set out to please become so displeased with you and they hurt you and disappoint you. And what happens to you? you end up being in a worse place from where you started out to be. So let me narrate to you a, a very funny story. And it's a very funny story to explain this. And I want you all to pay attention because it's really funny. Once a father and a son, you know, they were family of washermen, set out for their morning duties from village to village to pick up the dirty laundry from people's homes. So they had one donkey to carry all the load and since the donkey had no load on it because they were just starting off, you know, setting out, the old man sat upon it to have a ride. Then as they were crossing a village, a man sees and says aloud, this old man is as old as many donkeys and does not have any sense. He is so inhuman, he is torturing this poor animal by riding upon it. Immediately the father jumped from the donkey and started walking beside it. Soon they reached another village, collected clothes and continued. And slowly it was getting warmer. So the son started to feel very uncomfortable and he thought riding on the donkey, you know, might give him some rest and might cool him a bit. So he climbed onto the donkey this time. In a little while, a man and woman looked at the scene of this young man riding a donkey and remarked to each other, this young man has no shame. He is riding a donkey like a fool 
making a fool of himself. You know, it's so sad that the old man's bad fate has such a lazy fellow, lazy, shameless fellow as his son. What did the son do? The son immediately jumped down from the donkey and started to walk beside the donkey. And when this happened, the poor donkey, you know, that was waiting for the right moment, gave a kick to the son on his back and pushed the father and ran away. So pleasing is like this. Pleasing is always about trying to make, you know, others feel good about you or more important. It's all about you than the happiness of others. It's like this father and son who just went on, you know, jumping off the donkey because someone else said something. Probably the son was truly tired. Probably the father was wanting to just have a fun ride. But at last the donkey got frustrated and gave the son a kick. And that's what happens in many of your lives, right? The unexpected kick comes. So when your responses come from such a fearful and negative space, you know, how can you cause harmony or how can it be loving? You have a beautiful intention to create harmony in your family or amongst your friends. But understand that the path you have taken is not right. You know, making what they think about you more important than their happiness. How can this path, which is all about you, take you to harmony or peace? So think about it as youngsters. You will end up feeling disappointed in yourself, end up hurting the ones whom you want to please. And that is why you have to come out of this compulsive, addictive need to please everyone. If you can do that, then you will be a beautiful force for peace in your world.